to mean that I um, belong to the Supreme Lord. I do not belong to myself. I'm not this body. I'm a spirit soul and I belong to the Supreme Lord. And everything that belongs to me also belongs to Him and is for His service. So in this way, this um, process of Bhakti Yoga is performed by these uh, nine limbs, ultimately purifying the consciousness so we can have some glimpse and some realization of our eternal spiritual nature. So I don't have any more to say. Excuse me, one check out the Rubius Chuck for passing the presentation. So first of all, I offer my humble obeisances unlimited times to the lotus feet of my Paramaradya Thakur Padma, Om Vishnu Paramahamsa Om Sapariva Kacharya, Chakotosri Srima Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharas. I also offer my humble obeisances unto all the Acharyas in our Rupa Nuru especially Param Gurudev, Nitya Rada Prakishtam, Shri Bhakti Kakyam Keshava Swami Maharas, and Nitya Rada Prakishtam, Shri Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharas. Then I offer my humble obeisances unto the Gita Gandhi, Swami's presence, all the senior Vaishnavas, God brothers, God sisters, guests, who have come here today to observe and celebrate the glorious appearance of Sri Nishimade. So we're very lucky here coming together and observing this festival. Sri Guru has come all the way from India to remind us what is the reality of our, of our situation in this world, that we have forgotten Krishna. As Sri Padmanabhara so eloquently presented and explained what is our position in this world, we have forgotten who we really are. Even we are in the dark well of materialistic existence. Myself included. Yeah, I did not come in this world to look for Krishna. I came to look for material happiness. And then being in this well, we even don't think about crying out for God, but rather we cry out for honey, honey. Yeah. Where is honey? Yeah. Not only that, we are going to school. And what do we learn there in school? What is honey? Yeah. Money is honey. Yeah. Money, money, sweeter than honey, brighter than sunshine. Even in school, we learn about religion. Isn't it? We learn God is there, you have to pay to God and anything you want, good health, lots of money and material happiness, pray to God and He will give it to you. Not only that, you pray to Him to forgive you for all your Sin. sinful activities and when you walk out of the door, again you can engage in the same sinful activities. They made it so easy that once a year only you have to ask forgiveness for your sinful activities and the rest of the year just go on. This is called education in religion nowadays. So this was also going on in this particular example and wonderful pastime that we are sharing with all of you tonight. Sri Prahlad Maharaj, the son of the greatest materialistic person on earth, Hiranya Kashipu, who all the inhabitants of the whole universe were afraid of. He has performed austerities in order to become immortal. However, yeah, the one he asked for to become immortal was himself not able to provide that. So he 
thought of a train out to become immortal. And he performed severe hostilities for only that. To be in this world eternally and enjoy sense gratification. This is the inclination of all those who have made a vow to be in this world. And to be happy with their family. Hirani Kashipu was that determined to obtain this. And he was ready to fast and do anything to obtain this. Today, yeah, we are so lucky that by observing this festival, we are also having a great chance to obtain the reality of what is the relationship of our real self, the soul, with the Supreme Self, God or Sri Krishna. By observing a little austerity today, fasting yeah, up till the appearance of the up, up till the set of the sun, the sunset, yeah, we can obtain tremendous devotional benefit. Very difficult. One day only Hirani Kashipu, sixty thousand years he was abstaining from food and so many things, standing on one lap and fire coming from his crown, yeah, from his body, devastating the whole universe. And we only one day we can do and we can obtain much more than Hirani Kasipo. We can obtain eternal love and affection for the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So Pramad, he has the greatest fortune from even being in the womb of his mother, obtaining the association of Sri Narada Rishi, yeah, the Supreme Mahabhagavad Devoti, eternal associate of Sri Krishna, yeah, instructing Prahlad, showering him with transcendental nectar. And Prahlad, he became so fixed in his relationship of devotion to the Supreme Lord that even the greatest materialist, yeah, the greatest Asura, Aldi in the universe could not waver his determination. So here, Hiranikas Pu just asked about what is the best thing that you have learned? Yeah. And as we heard from Sripad uh, Madhu Rataprabhu, how these nine activities, Prabhupada says, Shravan, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Achana, Badanam, Darsham, Satyam, Atman, Yehidanam. These nine activities, if we apply them to Vishnu and to Ashtraya Vishnu, Bhagavan, Ashtraya Bhagavan, to Sri Krishna and to the spiritual master, then this is the best knowledge that you can learn. So Prabhupada, he went to the school of Sandhana Marga, the sons of Shukracharya, who was the spiritual master for all materialistic persons who was the spiritual instructor, so-called, between brackets of Hiranyakasipu, spiritual, between brackets, because really spiritual, as we will learn tonight in this discourse, is something which is very, very special. It's not an ordinary thing. Oh, I'm practicing spiritual life, I'm doing some exercises, and I accept that God is within me and within all of us and we should be in harmony with everyone. No! These nine activities, if we apply them properly, under the guidance of a pure, spiritual, self-realized guru, spiritual master who himself is completely detached from anything in this world, has completely realized the essence of all transcendental literatures, the Vedas, and who is immersed yeah, with so much mood in serving his Kishtade, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So Pramad, he had obtained this great fortune from his spiritual master, Sinarada Rishi. And he himself was completely in mood, in bath, always remembering his Kishtade, always absorbing, serving him by his remembrance. And here is the Maniya Father asking him again, what is the best thing that you have learned in school? When he heard this, Hirani Kashipu, his eyes started rolling. What is this? When did Pramad learn this? He became very, very disturbed. Then he said, he looked at Pramad. 
How is this possible? Then yeah. Brahman said, Matirne Krishna Paradaksato Va Mito Vipatyate Griha Pratanam Adanda Gobi Visadanta Misham Puna Puna Stagrita Charvananam. So, my dear father, those who are who have made a vow to be in this world. Griha Pratanam, who have made a vow, I will stay in family life and be happy with my family members, my wife, my children, my little pets, yeah, my doggy, my caddy, and my horses, yeah. And not only that, my beautiful boats and my cars, yeah, and my little garden garden. And I have this big fridge there with all the goodies that I need in order to remain healthy. These people, they have no opportunity to fix their intelligence on the real beneficial thing for them, which is to remember Vishnu or Bhagavan. Not even if they try to discuss this matter with each other. Yeah? If they have made this vow, I will be happy in this world. They can never be yeah, inclined to watch the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And what do they do? Yeah. Their senses are completely emerged, and completely entangled yeah, in this material world. Always thinking, where is money? Sweeter than honey, brighter than sunshine. How can I provide enough money so that my family is happy? Yeah. Uh, sometimes I may also do, give some donation to the priest when he comes, yeah, to get rid of all the reactions of my sinful activities. But really, I want to remain with my family. They can never attain the shelter of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the Lama Stoy. Yeah. And what are they engaged in? Purna, Charvita, Charvana, Chewing that, which has already been chewed so many times. Shri Guru Dev very much reminds us always the dogs in India. Yeah, some of you have been to India. Here we may not see that because all the dogs are on leaves. People have to take them on leaves in the park, on the road, and they have to carry a little plastic bag to pick up the whatever remnants they leave behind. Yeah. But in India, if you go to India, you will see all the dogs running around freely on the road, sometimes 40, 50 at a time, whole bunches. Yeah. And the amazing thing is, yeah, if one of them discovers some piece of bone, yeah, anywhere in the earth or in some corner, and he grabs a piece of bone and he tries to chew it to get some good taste, some sweet taste, yeah, then what happens? The bone is already yeah, being chewed up and rejected by other dogs. Okay. And he picks it up and he chews it and what happens? He hurts his gums and he chews some blood and he thinks how nice this taste. And he tries to protect the bone, tries to run away with it, but little or no, what happens? Forty dogs are running behind him. They all want to catch that bone. Yeah. And that bone is so heavy that he is losing speed and the 40 dogs come and catch him. Yeah. So big fight and another one takes that bone and tries to chew it. And this goes on. This is like chewing that which has already been chewed so many times before. So what is that in our situation? We say, well, you like those dogs. We are not like those dogs. We are human beings. Yeah. We are uh, respected in society. Yeah, we have a family. We are not doing these things. But if you use your intelligence, if we use our intelligence, then what are we doing? Yeah. What did our grandfather do? Yeah. Grandfather got married. My grandmother. Right? <laughs> they had so many children, or maybe not so many, but they had children. They had dogs and animals. Yeah. Our, our mom or dad, they did the same thing. They got married and we were the happy family members. Yeah. And what happens in our family? What happens in the family of our 
grandfather, our great grandfather, our great great grandfather? Did they obtain any permanent happiness? What were they chewing? Yeah. What was it that they were chewing? As Sri Padmatra has explained, a few drops of honey, yeah, hanging on the branches. The tiger, that is roaring. So many snakes are hissing. Yeah, all the living entities are neighbors, are friends. Who sometimes say, I'm your friends, and the next moment they say, I hate you. <laughs> Isn't it true? Or even our own family members, our children, they say, Daddy, I don't like you at all. Yeah. <laughs> I hear myself even worse things. Yeah. I remember in my family life with my daddy and mommy, I was something, sometimes getting so frustrated that I could do anything. Sometimes with brothers and sisters. What is the happiness which we are discussing here? It is the same chewing that bone. Yeah? Nobody in history has ever achieved permanent happiness by trying to immerse themselves in family life. There is no example. Yeah? Only when one wakes up and obtains that his intelligence and his own attention becomes fixed on the Supreme Personality of God and only then those personalities have obtained permanent happiness. Great sages, saintly personalities, spiritual masters, as we are so lucky to be in their presence today of our beloved spiritual master, they have obtained eternal happiness. They are no longer interested in material family life. They are now trying to increase the family of Sri Krishna, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. All of us, who are we? Jivyana Swarupahai Krishnira Nitya Das. We are, according to our constitutional nature, all brothers and sisters. And we have the same father. Yeah. But we have forgotten. And Gurudev so kindly travels all over the world in advanced age to remind us we are all one family. Give up this duality that you think we belong to this world. We are men, we are women, we are beautiful, we are ugly, we are old, we are young, we are intelligent, we are smart, we are dumb. No, we are American, we are European, we are Indian. We are all spirit soul. And we have an internal constitutional identity which is meant to be happy forever when it realizes its potential and nourishes that potential and realizes its beautiful relationship with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So Prahlad is telling his father, Father, it's not possible for you, yeah? Not possible for anyone who has made a vow to be in this world and be happy in, in family life, yeah? You're bound to be engaged in chewing that which you have been chewed for, which has been chewed for so many times before. Then he goes on, he said, Now tell if you do Katin, he Vishnu. Those who have not made in their life the firm determination to choose that the goal of my life is to realize who is God, who am I, what is my relationship with God. They are bound yeah, to be distracted and guided by those who are spiritually blind, who have no vision, who are materially inclined. Yeah. And what will they do? A person who is blind, he wants guidance. We don't know who is God. We don't know who we are. What is our relationship with God? We want guidance. But we have not made the object of our life to obtain that very relationship. Yeah. We are not worried about this world, how to be happy. What do we do? We obtain some guidance from someone who says, I know how to make you happy. Sandra Marka, listen to me for love. Lots of money, give you lots of money. Yeah. It will make your life very happy. You can buy the things you need in order to satisfy your senses. Yeah. And all you do, you do some religious activities yeah. in order to ask God, please God, give me money, make me happy. So this process is being taught nowadays in the world, yeah, in modern day education. How to be religious, how to obtain sense gratification, 
Dharma, Artha, Karma, Moksha. Yeah. How to obtain economic development. The whole world is proud, especially American leaders. They're very proud. We are doing wonderful. Our democracy is the example for the whole world. We have to convince everyone to accept democracy. And what's happening? Yeah. All are running around. Yeah. Intoxicated by the objects of the senses, intoxicated by the drugs which they need to take in order to avoid to become obese and so many other things. Isn't it? To get rid of one drug, you have to take another drug. Yeah. To avoid becoming old age, they have to go to the hospital to get an operation. So many things are going on in the world in the name of education. So Pramana is telling here, my dear father, those persons who do not have Embrace the ultimate goal to attain, obtain, realize the relationship with Sri Bhagavan. Yeah. They are guided, like a blind person is guided by another blind person, accepting him as his leader. And what happens? Both of them fall in a ditch. There is no other opportunity. Yeah. So what Prabhupada is telling his father, Father, there is one hope. Yeah. And he, this as we heard, this is an instruction for all of us. The pastimes of the Supreme Lord and His beloved associates, which we hear from Srimad Bhagavatam, yeah, they are teachings for all of us. So, Prabhupada said, Father, there is only one hope for those persons who are determined to erupt in this material world yeah, with a family, yeah, trying to be happy. There is one per one opportunity for you, he says, and that is the only uh, solution, the only way to solve, to rescue yourself and to become happy forever. What is that solution? Have to smear the lotus dust, have to roll in the lotus dust of the pure servant of Sri Krishna, the pure servant of God, the pure devotee, Sadhguru. If we want to obtain Freedom from our entanglement in this world, there is only one solution. We have to take the dust of the lotus feet of the pure body, smear it all over our body, again and again and again. Yeah. We're all in the food dust. What does it really mean? It means we have to accept His guidance, His shelter. This is the first principle of bhajan. Yeah. To accept complete shelter at the lotus feet of the spiritual master. And be sure that you have yeah, the conviction in your heart that He is my everything. For Him, yeah, I am engaged in these processes, hearing, chanting, remembering, worshipping, praying, becoming His servant, becoming His friend, and surrender my everything, my words, my body, my activities, at His Lord's feet. This golden opportunity is there for all. And this is the only medicine which will free us from this material world. So Balaban is telling to his father that his, his father, oh, he's becoming more and more upset. What is this? He says, this boy, talking about Vishnu, yeah. who has killed my brother, Hiranaksha. Yeah. He has become the enemy, my very son. Yeah. What's going to happen with me? He's thinking, the enemy has intruded. Some men of He calls his teachers again. What happened? Why did you teach him? Like this. Oh, no, no, no. We are, don't offend us. Yeah, we are Brahmins. Yeah, so then I'm going to tell you, who? Don't offend us. We are Brahmins. We have never told him where he got it. We don't know. We have only told him how to be expert in Dharma in Artha and in Kaam, yeah? Sense enjoyment, religious activities and economic development. We have never told him anything about Vishnu, yeah? Oh, he's becoming more and more angry. Guards! Hiramikasipu is calling his guards. Take your weapons! Prolana, a very small boy, five years old, you can imagine. They come with big choppers. His guards take their weapons. Kill him! So Prahlad sitting there, remembering Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Always absorbed in remembrance. 
God's like a chopping. Nothing happens. It only comes forth in what's this? Baby. Baby, this is my end. Yeah. He's becoming very, very worried. I am immortal. But he's still not. He is the representative of the enemy. Wish to. And nothing, I cannot do anything to him. He doesn't accept my teaching. He's immune to anything. Wait a minute, he thinks. Guards, bring the elephants. Bring boiling hot oil. Yeah. Not only that, take this command, throw him off the cliff. Yeah. Boil him in oil. Trample him on the feet of the elephants. So many others. And then, when he goes to go the glass. Nothing happens, he is always a man in the Supreme Court and nothing can kill him, nothing even slightly injured. Yeah. Oh, you are a fool. Who is the controller of the whole universe? All the big entities are killing him. You cannot control. So oh boy. Yeah. Beyond my control. And his mind becomes completely agitated. Then who comes in? Sister of the Kashipu. Holika, her name is Holika. She said, brother, don't worry, I'll take care of this. Holika, like all the Asuras or demoniac, not mystic persons, they have some cities, mystic cities. Nowadays people can control by some materialistic cities and do so many things, hypnotize people and manipulate them, make them believe that what they say is the correct thing. But in the past they had very powerful mystic cities. Previous yoga. So Holika is telling, brother, don't worry. Yeah. She had a city that she could create fire, and if she would walk in the fire, the fire would not hurt her. Yeah. So blazing fire, Holika takes the lad on her arms and goes in the fire. What happens? The lad comes out. And Holika? Finished. Yeah. So Oh, now we have Kashipu. Completely. He's at the end. What to do, what to do. Then his two teachers are coming. Sandana Marka. Master, don't worry. He's only a small boy. He can't hurt you. He's only five years old. He's still... We can still change his nature. Oh, when, small, when boys are small and girls are small, you can change oh, them. Or other things. So he's telling Samana Marka, we will change this boy very soon, our father is coming, Sukracharya. And with his help, we will make his son ideal demon. Ideally, this materialistic person. We will teach him, yeah, very firmly, we will make sure that nothing can influence him anymore. And he will be your most beloved yeah, son, a single materialistic son. So I think that others are no, no. yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. So first of all, I pay my humble obeisances to the Lord of my spiritual master, Om Vishnu Pad, Asto the Shrutha Sushma, the Bhukti Vedanta Shlava, Amanda Sai Maharaj, and Om Vishnu Pad, Paribhaja Kacharya Varja, Asto the Shrutha Sushma, the Bhukti Vedanta Shlava, Narayana Sai Maharaj. I pay my obeisances, my spiritual grandsire, Nitya Lila Prashtam Vishnu Pad, Sila Bhukti Vedanta Shlava, Sai Maharaj, and Nittalila Pushtam Vishnupad, Sila Bhakti Vrata Sami Maharaj. I give my obeisance to all Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis, headed by Sripad Padmana Maharaj, and disciple of Sila Bhakti Vrata Sami Maharaj. 
So, you have heard just now from the life history of Prahlad Maharaj. When one devotee is there, he is protected by God. God means Jeep generator, over operator, if a destroyer, when you protected by God, none can make harm of him. You have seen, you have heard just now, that Hiranyakasipu is just like almost immortal. None can make harm from him. So not only that, he knows so many illusions to make so many tears, so many things. Again, can destroy this thing, that thing. And Prahlad Maharaj, only five years aged boy. What he can know all this thing? Hiranyakasipu is God of his life that my father, my son must learn hypocrisy, duplicity, diplomacy, all these things. But Prahlad Maharaj is pure devotee of God. He has no nothing to do with this diplomacy, duplicity, hypocrisy, all these things. He don't like all these things. All these crazy things. So Prahlad Maharaj when he is chatting about Vishnu, he is a tall wall. He is my enemy. He is killing out my brother. And he is taking side of that Vishnu. He is blood sheep of our family. Just like if you want to cut a tree with the axe, the axe needs one handle. So Hiranagas who is telling, Vishnu is axe here. And this boy help him in like a handle. Without handle, he could not cut a tree. So Prahlad is handled to assist Vishnu. So somehow or other, we have to kill him. When Hiranyakasipu tried at his level best to kill him, but could not do so. He every each and every time became completely failure. Then he keep his face down, sitting on his throne. Oh my goodness. What to do? It's only merely five years boy. I gave him birth, I could not even kill this boy. Then his son and Amarka told, Oh my dear master, why not sorry? Even seeing you on your eyebrow, David has begun to tremble. If you were really angry, then earthquake start, like it happened just like in China. And if you run, just like it's like a hurricane, like it happened in Burma. So, why so worry for this? Be calm and quiet. My father went for very big austerity. Why did he come back? As a moment he can change his body. It's not so hard task. So being a great king, you are so worried. Nothing to worry for this boy. Let us take him away from here. When my father will come, he will be controlled by my father. Don't worry. Okay, he was thinking, oh, maybe this is my game. Why I became failure? But what maybe Sandhya told to take him, they took him in Gurukul again. And they are teaching him religion, economics, politics, all these things. And main thing, they are not Aware for religion or salvation, mainly for some gratification, for that you need money. So economic development is needed. But they don't know. We are not this physical body or spirit soul. If you have no soul, we will enjoy this world. For whom you earn money, but they are not aware of this soul, only this physical body. They are teaching Prahlad, oh Prahlad, but when Prahlad is going to Gurukul, he became calm and quiet, very polite. What that teacher is telling, not opposing, but not accepting. Like he is taking one year and sending back another year, not listening anything. Always he is worrying about Vishnu. So, although, nowadays, nowadays American economy is going down, but still, 70% of the economy controlled by America. So Santa Marka teaching him that dollar is dollar, brighter than solar. Dollar is dollar, 
cooler than Luna. Dollar is dollar. If you have a lot of dollars, then you are a good scholar. If you have no dollar, you are a big fooler. Dollar is dollar. All oh, boys are so happy. The rest is hand. And oh, very cool, very nice. But Pallad Maharaj, not listening anything at all. He's listening. Which, remembering which he has learned from Pallad, a beautiful story. Now they see. Then some household work came. Then two teachers, Sandra Mahaka, told Pallad, we are going for a while, for a while. You can take care of this, your friends, as a monitor. So monitor system start in Sattaju, not in Kaliju, in Vedic period. So Prahlad, now is taking care of the boys. As soon as teacher went inside, all the way became very now free. None can say to them anything. Then oh, chalo, let us play, let us play. Like you see, so many kids are playing. They are also five years, six years, two years, three years. They are very fond of play. Prahlad told, my dear friend, Please listen to me, because Prahlad is prince and he stopped in his class. So everybody bound to listen to him. Oh Prahlad, oh, Prahlad listen, let us listen something, we are going to do bhajan. Hare Prahlad, forget it. Why are you sorry? We are now only, not even teenage, merely a boy, merely a child. When our old age will come, then we will do bhajan. Why sorry? Aaj karo so, kal karo, kal karo so, kar so. Kya ho khat khat me pada hoa yo jiban pada hai kar so? Oh Prahlad, why are sorry? We will do bhajan, not today, tomorrow, day after tomorrow. Our life will be so fast. Why sorry? Prahlad went to know brother. None can say you will alive next day or not. So, what you want to do tomorrow, please do today. What you want to do today, do immediately for Krishna consciousness. For bad thing, you can, oh, bad thing do tomorrow, day after tomorrow, day after tomorrow, like this. You can make it postpone or lengthy and postpone it. So, okay, Prahlad, what you are telling me, we will listen to you. Then Prahlad told, Kaumara achane prakno dharman bhagavataniha durlaho manusa janma tadah padruvam arthadam Pradhan is still listen carefully. If you want to be a even big man in this world, if you not learn from this young age, if you be old, then you can go to school and learn something. They, the demand you know, never, if you learn from beginning, if you want to be a doctor, when you are 60 years old, you can go to school to learn medical science, not possible. If you want to be a great engineer or attorney, if 70 years old, you go to school, learn in law school, not possible at all. Same way, if you want to successful your life, you have to do your father from young age. Ko marata chale dhrakko. Will be intelligent enough. They will do bhajan from young age. Dharma and Bhagavata Durla Bhuvai They are asking Prahlad Bhuvai Durla Bhuvai Manasa Jamma This human beings is extremely rare and Tadapa Dhruva Marthadam and moreover there is no certainty when you will die. The boy says, did he hear this? He is speaking very nice, true. Moreover Prahlad told, listen, with uncontrolled sense, who have controlled their sense, they work in daytime, after that drink something and fall asleep. <clears throat> if you think our life spent about 100 years, about 50 years we spend only sleeping. Both us, nothing only drink, work some, nothing to cook, go to a restaurant, drink something and drink and sleep. You don't know what you are doing. After that, even 100 years, 50 years is done by sleeping only. And rest 50 years. When you are old age, 80 to 100 years at that time, so old. Even so many diseases attack you. And if you want to speak, mucus choke your voice. 
and you want to walk straight, have to take help of steel. That could not work properly. So how you can do bhajan at that time? You could not do anything in your old age. You have been old house, even to whom you produce, to whom you give your soul or money to your children, even they will not come to see you. And if father are there, hello daddy, how are you? That's, that's enough, not more than that. And must be taken as send, send some part to you by post, not more than that. So what is the utility of this life if you not do bhajan? So 50 years by sleeping, 80 to 20, uh, 100 years and 20 years, old age, and remain 30 years. In 30 years, if you want to be expert in any art, or any medical science, or anything, or you want to be a rock singer, then what to do, a pop singer? Then minimum you need 20 years to be an expert. So 50 years sleeping, 20 years old age, and 20 years being an expert. So 50 plus 20 plus 20, 90. Remain only 10 years. At that time, you have unlimited desires. Oh, I have to marry. I have to produce children. I need so many nice cars. Like Jaguar, Limbole, this and that. If I have not so nice car, like BMW, something happened today this morning. So, none can care that I am a big guy. So all have you acquired in 10 years. Then when you do bhajan, if you do bhajan of Krishna, Sri Krishna from young age, then it will come in your happy, then you will not suffer any difficulties. After that, the demonic boy told, Oh Prahla, what is the process of Krishna consciousness? Then Prahla had a told, and they asked, Oh Prahla, from where we have learned all this thing, our teacher, Sunday Mahatma, never explained all this thing, all this philosophy. From where you have learned? You are same major boy. That Prahla told his life history, which you have heard from Sri Padpadvana Maharaj. When he was his mother room, then he has learned everything from his Guru, Narada Rishi. Then the how to do bhajan, what is the process? Then Prahlatma replied, Guru Susu Saya Bhakta, Sarvala Bharpani Nacha, Sangyan Sadhu Bhakta, Isharara Bhani Nacha. Guru Susu Saya Bhakta, if you want to advance in Krishna consciousness, and you have to make your life successful, only in this world, eat, drink and be merry, by this you never be happy. Never, never, how much do you endeavor? Never. So must have to come in Krishna consciousness. So, Guru Susu Saya Bhakta, you have to be under guidance of spiritual teacher. Not only that Krishna Bhajan, if you want to be expert in this world, you must have to adopt a teacher. You may call him professor or teacher, preceptor, anything. But for this spiritual life, we have to accept a spiritual teacher. Guru Susya, Susya Saya Bhakta and have to serve him with great honor. And Sarvala Bharpa Nenacha What you possess, you have to offer to your Guru, which I have. You have nothing. When we come in this world, when you took birth, then our hand was closed. And you depart from this world and will be open. So you could not take anything from here. When you take birth in this world, you brought your own karma in you and you go back, which you an art in this world and you have everything you behind. Even you could not take every tip of hair from your body for to say what you are dollar or you or pound. Not possible to take with you. So, what he possessed, our uncontrolled mind and our soul, if he offered to Sila Gurudev, what he will do? He will purify him and offer to divine couple, or Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, then life will be successful. Guru Susu Seya Bhakta Sarvala Bharpati Inacha And if you know why I go to Guru like a mediator or broker I can do by my bhajan own bhajan if you go in Google search you can see so many mantras this and that oh I can do bhajan if you want to do bhajan this way Bhagavan never accept you just like it. if you want to have a job big company or if you advertise yourself 
I'm intellectual giant in computer. But you are not degree holder from a good university. If you apply, they will take your application. So in that abstract, because you are not degree holder from a university. In the same way, unless until you are not initiated by a fide guru, a fide teacher, Bhagavan will accept you, God will accept you. So must have to initiated by a bona fide teacher, spiritual teacher. Guru Sushru Seya Bhakta Sarva Sangyana Sadha Bhaktana, not only that. Have you always good association? If you good association, just like you are going to school or college, but you are coming back to homework, either your dad can help, your mommy can help, but homework have to do. In the same way, Guru Dhar will give initiation, but how to practice? In good association, from both levels you can learn all these things. So, Sangyana Sadhu Bhaktana, Isra Radhana, and if you do so, then God will accept it, otherwise God will reject it. There is so many examples, like Dhruva Maharaj wanted to bhajan, but he has no guru at all. And Bhagavan sent Narada Rishi to initiate him. Then he initiated by Narada Rishi, then he achieved God. If you want to go direct, Bhagavan told himself, Prathama tu guru mpujya tatashtaiva mamarachana tadesa bhagavad bhakti yannathani shpadom bhaved. What? If you want to do bhajan, then what to do? Prathamam tu guru mpujya, fast, worship and please your guru then. If you not do so, what will be happy? Pratham tatashtriva mamarachanam then, make him happy, take permission from him, then come to bhajan myself to God. If you do so, then you get devotion, otherwise everything go in hell. So same way, you have to be under guidance of Guru Dev and be in good association. Then, in how to do that? Then Prahlad Maharaj told, follow me, the chanting. So what will happen after that? We will listen from Guru Dev Lokasri. Hare Krishna. Bancha Kaka Guru Pasta Kaka Asakur Hare Krishna. Mr. Tukrita also prayed Lord. And by that, Supreme Lord will be happy. Your life will be successful. <coughs> and then they began to sing. Govind
Yes, my Lord, He can save me. And He can save you too. <laughs> Your God. This God that you talk about. You think that He's all powerful, but you don't know how powerful I am. Everyone is frightened just by the movements of my eyebrows. Do you know that, Pallad? I know that, Dad, but your power is coming from the same source as my power. From and Vishnu. where is your power coming from? He is coming from Vishnu and he is everywhere, Dad. Oh, really? Yes. Your God is everywhere? He is everywhere. Oh, then tell me, this pillar here, is your God in this pillar? You won't believe it, but he's there, Dad. Try it out. Okay. Let's see your God come and protect you now. I will smash this pillar with my bare hands and see if your God comes and protects you then. Huh? 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 Go ahead, Dad. <laughs> Yet you should have 
in the book yeah, he told oh my father had done so much offenses in your daughter's feet and also in he had disturbed me so please oh liberate my father he told that oh no, it had been done those who are first class boys now uttam boys now their father mother in 21 generation generation they will be liberated and those who are in madhyam adhikar oh their father mother for 40 40 in generation they will be also and those who are still in kanishta adhikar oh their father mother for seven generation they will be liberated so don't worry for that you should ask any anna in order to then radhar maharaj told i see that in this world billions and millions of all jeevs are suffering in the pain of endless birth and day they should be liberated and for them i will bear all these things and i will go to hell for lives and lives but then he told prahlad mara prahlad i am defeated by you i can give you only that bone that if anyone here this sweet past times of you and with between me they will have pure bhakti and shorten they will be really liberated from this world gol prama jai krishna hadev ki Gods began to pray him, and he disappeared. And Devi gods also returned back to their abodes. And then, oh, Pranav Maharaj was was given kingdom of all his numbers to stay in kingdom, and he was very, 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 very. Ideal bhakta. He began to honor all the rishi, bhakti, brahmins, and bhaks. So, which tribe you have come here from far, far away? Don't return back empty. We should take some qualities of Prahlad Bhai. What if our suffering, our happiness coming? You should happily taste it, and always, in any stage you are, always chanting, remembering Krishna. Don't give up. Don't be weak. I see that when we will go, so many will be weak. So you should not be. Always remember the sweet past times of Prahlad and Nishinga, and try to be tolerant like him, very, very humble, <laughs> giving respect to another, not any desire to have any praise or anything from her. In the ways where your life will be successful. Sisi Nishinga Dev ki jai. We're going to have a, a very short ceremony to conclude this evening's program, which is called Abhishek. It is a bathing ceremony. So uh, you, you can observe here on the altar, we have a very beautiful deity of Lord Nishringa Dev. 
and this deity is now going to be ceremonially bathed, and we will have the performance of uh, kirtan while this bathing ceremony is going on. Shina Shinka Bhagavan Ki Jai Bhakta Prabhupada Shri Pradhan Maharaj Ki Jai Gaur Pramanandi Namaste Nara Shinka Namaste Nara Shinka Oh Namaste 